you clicked on this video, you are one of three categories. The first one is you're actually looking for an XP grinder because all the other ones are bad, plus they don't even work for your level, and they're just super hard to listen to. Another one could be my parents just in dropping a like and getting out of here. Or number three, you are someone from 2023 just looking at my old videos. Either way, you're getting an XP grinder because of the title of this video, unless it's how to build a tree. I don't know. Comment if I should actually name it to how to build a tree. But anyway, if you say, yeah, I'm new, then an area for you is the goblin camp over there because it is decent there's a lot of goblins in there you can get one xp but it really adds up and they're insanely easy to get so overall i would give that an all right if you're new now if you say yeah i'm decent i'm level 10 then an area for you would be in here spidey curve because each of them give you 6 XP. You have a chance for a spider shard, which sell for quite a bit. And you even get some occasional goblins and slimes, since it's really close to that area. So overall, it gives you like 24 XP around. And the rounds happen every maybe 15 to 20 seconds. So, you're getting, like, at least 48 XP a minute. I'd say that's alright for a level 10 round. Now, if you say, yeah, I'm feeling good, I am level 20, then an area for you would be in the pig and bison area. Now, I don't know where it is exactly, but just navigate your ways around the edge of the map. And you'll find an area with piggies and bisons. That is a pretty decent area. And they do quite a bit of XP. I think it's 24 and 52. Oh, that's just like 10 times less than their health. I'm not sure, but they're pretty decent for a level 20 person. Now on to the big areas in the volcano area. If I can get that. Okay, so I'll just explain it as I am going through. So, in the volcano area, if you say, yeah, I'm very new, I'm level 25, then an area for you would just be going around the map and killing the slimes. Because surprisingly enough, the slimes are the weakest, not the goblins. Those actually give me troubles, the goblin camp. And I'm level 57. So, uh, go for the slimes scattered across the map. They're actually pretty common. So, you won't have that much trouble getting them. And there's nowhere to actually show you them. Because they're everywhere. So, you'll just see them as I'm making the video. Now, if you say, you know, I've killed some of the slimes. Now I am ready for something else. Then some alright areas. Uh, actually not that many places. But the next one would actually be the goblin area. It's insanely hard. But you'll get the hang of it. You just need like an alright sword. I use the dark thorns one. You're going to need some armour. I use marble and this helmet. I'm saving up for the fire dyed, which I think is the best. I'm not sure. But you're just going to have to get some armor, get an alright sword, and you'll actually be good to go. Now, if you say, okay, I'm doing really good. I'm on level 40 or 50. Now, an area for you would be around the beach the red crabs do a lot of damage 
and they have quite a bit of health. But if you don't fight them with anyone, you can get 122 XP for them. There's quite a bit of them as well. And you sometimes get beetles, which aren't the best, but they still give you a chunk of XP. So those are all the areas in there. But then, if you're someone that's like, well, they're either too hard for me, or they're just too scattered across the map and I need to AFK, then don't worry, because I do have a alright area for you. A really good area to AFK in, if you don't want to do any of those, is actually the dungeon entrance. Because that's actually a decent area. You get the pigs, which are... Well, I'm not sure if you get the pigs, but you get the bisons, which are actually pretty good. And you get magic golems, which, let me tell you, they are hard, but they're like two times worse than goblins. So, you're going to have a good time with this area. You get a chunk of XP. Let me show you. If you're watching this purple bar down here, you can actually see it kind of going up. Okay, well, I killed them, but, yeah. If you just want to rewind it and see it go up when I killed those, then go ahead. But now let's say uh, I'm a boss. I am level 70. I am ready to enter the dungeons. Then an area for you would not be the spider boss. Do not grind him unless you're like mafia boss level 200. Actually speaking of level 200, if you are for some reason grinding the game so much that you actually are level 200, then just grind the spider king. I'm not sure how hard he is for level 200, but... If you're going to be on the game for that long, you'll probably have the best stuff. So, just go ahead, fight the Spider King, if you are level 200. But, back to people that are, like, level 70 and stuff. Now, I can't actually really go in and there and fight, since I'm level 57. I'm exceeding my own limits here. But, it's a good area even AFK, since there's a lot of them. Just stand still, use an auto clicker. I personally use auto clicker 3.0. It's OP at the start as well. OP auto clicker 3.0. Just set it to like maximum attack so it does this. Well, your sword might not go like crazy fast, but it will still work. So just use an auto clicker, stand around there, and you can kill them AFK. So yeah, those are my XP grinders that might work for you. So, yeah. If you want to try them out, feel free to. Don't worry, I do not own any of these. No copyright will be made. Feel free to make your own videos on this. Okay, I'm out of here.